Carroll's farm and I had been wanting to do this video for a while. Uh, my back was out and then things just kept happening. Anyway, I have this awesome wash tub with a stand from Backyard Expressions. It's in this big box and it's intended to be used for beverages is what the sold as a beverage wash tub with stand. But I'm going to tell you right now, we don't do any entertaining and there's no way I'd be using it to put beverages in. So let's open it up. It's big. It says it's 10 and a half gallons. It's a really nice size wash basin is what it is. These are the legs and screws. Some good instructions here. See, it's really big. This part is what I really liked about it because you can find a lot of galvanized planters and big wash basins, but they usually don't have any kind of drain at the bottom. And this one has a removable plug. So you could use this as a planter if you wanted to, just remove this plug and you could put your dirt right in there and plant whatever it is you're going to plant, but you would need to leave your plug out so it could drain. Otherwise, if you didn't have this plug, you were going to have to drill a hole at the bottom of any kind of galvanized big basin like this. This one is also cool because a lot of, you can find a lot of these big galvanized metal tubs or basins, whatever you want to call it, but a lot of times they don't have handles. And if they do, they aren't adjustable like this. So this works really well. If you're washing clothes in this, this is really handy to have handles that go up and down so you can work with it instead of fixed handles or no handles at all. This is a really good size. I mean, this is really a perfect size if you're doing family wash. This is by hand. Uh, this is a great size for that. And also, if, you if you're using a plunger, it's deep enough that you're not going to be making the water go up over the sides. It's it's of a size that it's not so big that you can't lift it. Well, filled with water, but you can pop off that plug underneath. You could carry it. If it's empty, you could carry it with the wet clothes in it to the clothesline. Let's look at the stand here. It has one of those sort of powder coated finishes on it, which is always nice. And this is packed really well. It's like they've thought about what's going to get bumped around. All the corners have been protected. There's no nuts, it's just the screws go into a pre-drilled, um, sort of a deep, deeper well here, sort of just, it's not a hole that you would require a nut. On the other side it actually has a, it's screwed into. When it's not going to line up either. Let's try this side. It looked easy. If you have two people, one person pushing and one person pulling, it seems like they're all drilled like just slightly off. All right, got that one in a, there we go, got that one in a slant. It's just that none of the holes are lining up with the legs, so and I'm dropping screws all over. It's really frustrating. It should be a very simple thing, but the legs look like they need about a fourth of an inch more metal on each side to do what you're supposed to do with them here. Those two in. Let me see if I can get the other ones though in there. 
seems like you can only get one side in because they're too short. This side I've got two screws in the top, but I can't get the bottom ones lined up. Seems to me though, it's the metal. It's just a little too short. And I can't use my hand because I have to hold this, so it really is a two-person job. It the metal just isn't wide enough. Well, I did the, last time. If I put two in it, there was no way of getting one in the other uh, one on in. the other side. So you sort of have to do one at a time. One whole, two legs now. <laughs> well, as you can see, it was totally a two-person job. The design made it look like it was going to be really easy, but the legs, the verdict was something is off. <laughs> Either the legs need to be a fourth inch wider on each side, or the screw holes it's like a combination it's almost too short and the screw holes some of them are like welded a little bit crooked I don't know so it's like you have to push to get one in and you have to push it the other way to get the other one in but once you get them in I so we ended up having two screws that we just gave up on it was like no matter what we did it went in at a this one just doesn't want to go in the other one I got in Stable. If I put my weight on it, it doesn't move, so it's really good. You have a built-in, if you want to use it for beverages, there's a built-in bottle opener. That's really cool. I think the, the stand is at a great height if you're washing clothes. It doesn't require you to bend over that much. If the clothes were here and if you were plunging them, it'd be great. The inside, it seems to be two pieces, and you can see the there's like a clear adhesive here holding the pieces together. I don't, I can't vouch for how that would be over long term if you're gonna get a break in the seal. I also don't know how this is gonna stand up with hot scalding water. I don't, will the adhesive weaken? I don't know, I haven't tried that yet. But the um, stand is a good height position. But once we get it in there, it is stable and it's solid. And it probably could take, if you did fill this up with a lot of ice and uh, soft drinks, it would probably take the weight all right. I mean, I don't think, the, the stand itself is very sturdy. It's not, that was part of the problem. It's not cheap metal. It's not that thin metal. It's it's hefty metal. And that was part of the, there was no give, you know, if you're dealing, if it was like the, if it was like the galvanized metal, like the tub, which is thinner, but the stand is definitely a thicker metal and there was no flexibility in it, which is great for the sturdiness of the stand but it just made it a little bit difficult putting it together but once I got my daughter came in so once she came in and, and we were doing it together it worked a lot faster and a lot easier it's so definitely a two-person job putting it together overall it's really pretty cool and storage ability you can see it's, it's pretty it's a big it's a big thing here it's not some little tiny thing so if people if you are using it at a gathering for drinks and stuff it's gonna be basically you know you're just high so it's not, you know, down on the ground having to scramble around for things. And you pull out that plug, there's nothing, the stand is hollow underneath. So if you push out that plug, you see, you see the carpet underneath there. I think I would put a, maybe some sort of chain or something somehow underneath on this. So that way you could pop it out and not lose it. You know, it would just hang, you know, sort of like the old stoppers in the sink. And have some sort of um, chain somehow to hold on to it. I don't know, I'd have to think about that. But definitely I probably would put it on the top because I'm afraid if the water pressure if you had it underneath it might pop out I don't know I haven't tried it yet but it's really it's a nice plug too it's not it's not flimsy so it's really in there good and it would be good for older people if you want a container garden in your backyard since it is waist high you're not having to bend over and the frame is sturdy enough 
and that powdered finish is not going to rust. It's going to be a number of years before you get any rust on that. If you didn't want to use the stand and you wanted to put it on a plant stand that rolls around, that would be good too. The, the handles make it really easy to be able to, if it was on a rolling plant stand, to move it around. Yard Expressions Beverage Wash Tub with Stand. If you're missing parts, it does come with, which is really nice because this doesn't happen a lot. It comes with uh, two, uh, two separate contacts, an email and then a whole other contact form. It also has a text number that you can do it that way if you're missing parts and they'll send you parts or you're having problems. The only tool we needed was the Phillips screwdriver and a, another person definitely would have, have another person. Together it's about 34 inches tall, so that's pretty tall. So, it, so definitely if you're looking for a nice wash basin for outside for wash, hand washing clothes, this is awesome. Hand washing kid, that would work too. It's a good container planter. And there's just so many uses you can use this for, and aside from the intended use as the beverage container. And like I said, with the having the stopper plug at the bottom is a huge plus because most galvanized tubs I find want any kind of stopper. You're going to have to drill a hole for it. And then having the adjustable powder-coated handles is also a huge plus. So overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the Backyard Expression wash tub, beverage wash tub. It's got so many other uses as well for home storage and outside and everything else. So, so this is the video.